all right guys hi welcome back we're watching ranking of kings episode 13 and in last week's episode you know boji is still headed on his way and we also have despa who's also on his way but he's coming on his horse that is a little heavier than he recalls um so he's a little behind we still have the situation with the kingdom and you know what despa is attempting to do um the underground or, or criminals those those strong villains or whatever they're being used by the mirror right now i remember her name guys mirror anjo <laughs> Miranjo, okay and the armored one the one that's really really sketchy he like attacked the other dude but then i i swear i thought he was shy or something i don't know he went over he needed to take a break and, and breathe and then he just wrecked him you know he cut like and then but he's not dead it's very clear he's not dead you know the way they showed i think his hand move a little at the end i don't know how he would recover from any of that but um yeah especially since uh bebin bebin is pulling up by the way bebin sent the snakes to bury him so this doesn't sound okay we also saw in his flashback it seems like you know his family was possibly killed i believe that was probably his family they showed us and then we saw the king i think that king that was that we met Bo that boji met the crazy king or whatever um so there's clearly a lot of backstory there as well um as for what's going on with king boss and you know his his kid you know daida that's inside of him and then Miranjo and this whole demon thing you know about the demon as well like oh we had a new opening by the way it was nice and just everything going on i have no clue what's going on really i i, I don't understand like what is really happening What's everyone's connection to each other? We have no idea. But um, this episode, I believe, is called Kingdom in Turmoil. The Kingdom in Turmoil. So maybe some stuff is going to get go down a little more in this episode. But there's still so much that's unknown. So, yeah. So let's just get into it. I'm excited. Right. <laughs> oh, heck's nah. no. Oh, okay. He has sworn his loyalty to her. And he was also quite loyal to Bochi. Like, why? Why was he initially so loyal to Bochi? And what's his loyalty like to King Boss? Like, hmm. I guess it's Lady Maranjo first and foremost. It seems like he didn't know she was around. That sounds like a boss female. Why are you looking at my queen like that for? <laughs> that was so cute. Oh. <laughs> Have I seen her before? I don't recognize the red hair. Hmm. Oh, you have to deal with this again. Yeah, it's not him. Are you kidding? He got the experience. Oh, he's geared up now. <laughs> Look at him. He is geared up. Oh my god. Boss man. <laughs> uh, psych. I want to know what's going on in King Boss's head right now. Like, what's up with you? Oh, shoot. Giddy up in the other direction, sis! I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know. Oh, 
shoot. Bro, if anything happens to Dorshi, I'll be so mad. Oh my god, no. Maybe Bebin's gonna pull up. <laughs> oh, he's calling her away? Figures. Bevin, it has to be Bevin. Don't even play at me. <gasps> Yo, you made her bleed. Do you know what? I'm, okay, see, this is this is this is the thing for me. Bevin, not Bevin. That's literally not what I wanted to say. <laughs> King Boss, do you realize what? It's not his fault. He's been captured. But then again, can he be free? Like those ropes, I know is not what's holding him. What is he up to? Because right now, King Healing could seriously die. Right now! Does he not care? Or does he know that that just won't happen? Or is he like, that might have to be an inevitable sacrifice. Like, I'm trying to understand what he cares about losing and what he doesn't care about losing. What he wants, if he wants anything. You know what I mean? Like, I just, what? Like, what? She is in straight danger right now, and it seems like he does not care. When he claimed he sent the beasts after her, I felt like maybe he knew that Dunshi would be strong enough, and it would not happen. Because didn't he tell him? He told him ahead of time, like, those monsters are coming your way. So, like... Anyone would think that homeboy would be wrecked like this, but obviously not. I mean, he eats rats, so. Bro, is she dead? Did she just die? Imagine that's your, like, enemy, like, holy lights. What if that really messes him up? That's too much for him. <laughs> See? He's like a wuss, low-key! Low-key! Is she okay? This takes a lot from her. This healing stuff. Healing! Healing! Why did that only ring now? What the hell? Oh no, she's out! Oh, she's back! <laughs> what did she just drink? It's like a a regenerative potion, I guess. Yo. She's like, I have to save my son. Are they gonna come on time? Or maybe Bebin. I keep thinking Bebin is gonna pull up, like. Can you not? Oh my god! And normally those blades in his back would pierce him from the- Bro, is he actually- You know the blades he had on his back, normally that would slam into him and he would be punctured. Oh my god. You see what I'm saying? She is so vulnerable, like... Bro, I'm scared. I actually don't know what they're gonna do. Okay, so maybe the timeline... Is it Doshi? Don't even play at me. Appius? Did you betray her? You had no reason to hate them. Oh, 
my god, that scene was so touching in the weirdest way, like... Guys, no, I'm sorry, I know he's going off right now, but this is- I always need this, I always need to take a moment to up take in what just occurred, like... One thing this show has constantly, constantly showed us is how good it is at illustrating how complicated people are. And people aren't actually clean cut. Appius clearly serves Lady Maranjo, but he clearly also serves Queen Hilling, King, King Boss, uh, Bochi, like, Daida, like, he has feelings for all of them and senses of loyalty. And the fact that in that moment, he could not actually take seeing Queen Hilling die, he acted upon it. And he actually betrayed Lady Maranjo in that moment. And the way Lady Maranjo actually turned around and was like, for you, I'll, I'll give you this chance, just don't betray me again. Kind of shows how she even has a sense of care towards Appius, which in a way I always thought maybe she's just using him, but like, clearly she also has a slight consideration for him, and it's it's a complicated choice to make because she, she wants them to die, right? And then she actually kind of gave him an opening, so it's interesting to be on the same side and yet to have opposing interests, low-key. And then for him to call out to Doshi to get up, his boy, to even though I'm on the side that's inflicting this, get up and protect her with all you have? What? <laughs> what? I love it in my heart, but like, what the heck? <laughs> Look at him. Oh, f I, I feel like I'm scared. I don't want him to die, though. Oh, yes, sir! <laughs> what you know? He's happy, right? Are you happy? Oh, no. Oh, what a boss moment. I can't. Oh! Bro, I really don't want this guy to die, but I feel like he's the type that they would make die in an honorable way. Stop it. Stop it. King Boss and Bebe need to come on time because I don't want this. This is the second time I've been in this situation. I don't want him dying. Ugh. I want him to forever be her protector. Just did. Is it just me that cares about my life enough to just leave when I hear my soldiers telling me this? <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna get my mom and my dad and my brothers real quick. And my cat and we'll hit the road. Are you that kind of villain? Oh, he's that kind of villain. Why did he just like leave and just go towards the village? Get off my mans! Ah! <laughs> Look at his face. Someone has broken in. Mm-hmm. That's Domas and not even. That's his boy. I can't abandon them. So you've become my enemy. How do they stand in the way of his dream? So he killed her? So she killed- Bro, she didn't like that shit- <laughs> Get this shit out of here! Sus ass mirror! <laughs> I love her so much! So, what happens if I just drop this mirror here face down and just leave it? <laughs> like, what happens to you? <laughs> Stop, please, don't even do this. If you rip that off, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Bevin, King Boss. <laughs> oh my 
my god, no, I thought it was going to see something else go flying, not his foot. Maybe that was just his boots. Maybe they're messing with me. Maybe they're messing with me and that was just his boot. Not Boji just pulling up. Wait, really? I didn't think that would be the first thing you guys would say when you talk about King Boji. He's come to save us. Okay, I, I thought everyone thought he was like useless. What are you up to, sir? Why is he just... Mm. Natural enemy of Boji in particular! Oh! He has no body in there. He's not actually... Like, he's... The way he just sucked up his so-called blood or whatever, he doesn't actually have, like, joints to puncture or anything to puncture. That's why. So why are all these people just watching? This is. <laughs> so y'all have no regard for your life. I'm creeping through the alley and dipping the seat. Unless it's because y'all have loved ones on the floor right now. That's a different story. But like, if not, like when they're when they're oh, excuse me, leave. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, like a dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't. Wow, okay. Shoot. Oh, she changed herself. Oh! What the heck? Oh. Oh. What? Oh, he big mad. This guy's like a peacemaker, but he's more like... Is the word merch? No. He's like the type of bad guy that doesn't do anything that could potentially bring him a negative outcome. Like, he will weave his way. <laughs> He's this kind. Backstab you whenever the time is right kind of thing. Why isn't Appius holding it? Oh, oh, that's why, bro. <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> dang, Appius. Like, I have such mixed feelings for this guy. Like, I have such mixed feelings for this character. And clearly, he is also someone that is very, like, how should I say? Not so much lost. He's also someone that has, basically, he has too many loyalties, like, he's loyal to, I guess, too many people, or, like, he just, he has loyalty, like, unlike how Domas was showing before, where Domas put aside feelings next to his loyalty, and then, like, Apius is also kind of doing that, but you could see that his feelings also play a larger role in his actions and stuff like that, and his confliction alongside his loyalty like they don't um balance very well they're kind of like he sways on either side continuously like so even though what he's been doing for the most part is against you know king boss and the family like he's mostly serving lady Miranjo to blatantly help the enemy right in front of her goes to show that he has uh way stronger conflicted feelings then, for example, Domas in that moment when he actually pushed Boji down, like, to be able to do that is crazy, like, crazy. So that says a lot about his character. Um, of course, I'm worried for Doshi. I really hope he's okay. <laughs> they show something go flying, but that could have just been his boot. 
the way they showed that, the way they showed that, if I'm used to storytelling at all, it was just his boo. Because a boss character like that, you gotta give him his moment when he's dying. So they can't just show us next time and he's like shredded. Or maybe it was just one leg and then he'll still be saved after that and he'll still live like, you know, with one leg kind of warrior type of energy. I don't know. But he didn't die there. I don't believe he died there. Um, so either Bebin, King Boss, and them came. But like I said, it's still very hard for me to piece together what side or what King Boss's intentions are in all of this. I always felt that maybe he's just going with the flow with Maranjo in order to appease her and prevent her from behaving rashly and to kind of have more foresight on her actions by kind of observing and not opposing too strongly, but also maintaining and keeping control of the consequences or the things that are happening as best he can without having Miranjo completely like go too far. But as a consequence, I mean, King Queen Hilling could have really died at any moment there, which is um, wild. This is why it's like hard for me to piece what's really going on in King Bossy's head right now. What does he want to protect more than anything? What is his goal? What's his intention with his life, with the kingdom? But Boji is headed their way. That's going to be quite interesting all in all if everyone just kind of reunite there and uh so guys i will end it here good episode that was really really good that was super intense that was a super intense episode like especially honestly for me like doshi took the cake like the way he was just fighting there it was so boss mode um also i like how the queen really puts her all in healing and how she has like little potions to rejuvenate herself and stuff like that so thank you so much again for watching guys leave how you guys feel in the comments or the forum and i'll see y'all again in my next video so thank you and bye